This week on The Wire, easier lending to improve credit flow, sales and listings rebound, and pandemic creates a renovation rush. G'day guys, my name's Tim Guest, and welcome to The Wire, the week in real estate, where you can get all the top stories happening this week in finance, real estate, investment, and more. Now please like, comment, and share this video, and if it's your first time tuning in, don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you are seeing this. So our top story for this week, easier lending to improve credit flow. So banks will soon be able to rely on income and expenses information provided by borrowers, and that's under the federal government's changes to responsible lending guidelines. The move will speed up the credit approval process. Now, Treasurer Josh Frydenberg plans to abolish the responsible lending law that was imposed by the Rudd Labor government in 2009, and that was following the American subprime loan crisis. Mr. Frydenberg says the most significant reforms to credit rules in a decade would increase the flow of credit to households and businesses, reduce red tape, and strengthen protections for vulnerable consumers. He says, as Australia continues to recover from the pandemic, it is more important than ever that there are no, necessary, uh, no unnecessary barriers to the flow of credit to households and small businesses. By simplifying the application process for borrowers, it will reduce barriers to switching between credit providers, encouraging consumers to seek a better deal. Commonwealth Bank, ANZ, NAB and Westpac have all welcomed the changes. Now for our next story, guys. Sales and listings rebound. So consumer sentiment is rebounding, while the increase in auctions has signalled a positive upturn in the housing market. Data from CoreLogic shows the number of new for sale listings in the capital cities increased by 0.7% in the four weeks to the 20th of September. Sydney, where the number of new listings rose by 382, recorded the highest increase. Perth also enjoyed an uplift of 286 listings. Now, while transaction activity is gradually improving nationally, Perth stands out as a market primed for recovery. For the four weeks ending 20th September, Perth and regional WA were the only dwelling markets where new listing volumes exceeded the numbers of the equivalent period in the previous year. The results signify that vendors may be more confident in selling their properties. The exceptions were Melbourne, where the transaction activity is understandably constrained by stage four restrictions, and Darwin, where listing numbers are generally lower and more volatile. Now guys, for our final story of the week, the pandemic creates renovation rush. So homeowners have been making the most of COVID-19 restrictions by renovating their homes, and that's according to Suncorp, with the average makeover costing over $60,000. Now, the renovations cover a range of projects, including renovating one room, improved shared living areas, or making plans for a large-scale renovation to use the home builder grant. These include extensions and refreshing outdoor areas by adding a pergola, a uh, deck or swimming pool. Now, Suncorp Executive General Manager for Consumer Lending, Bruce Rush, says postponed holidays or events were some factors that saw households starting renovations. According to Suncorp's renovation calculator, kitchens are the most expensive part of the home to renovate, averaging just over $20,000. A bathroom upgrade costs around $16,000, while a small deck costs under five grand. Now, Suncorp data shows renovations are most prevalent in the Gap, Burley Waters, and Yerang in Queensland, while Kel Kellyville, Dromoyne, and Ballina are among the frequently renovated locations in New South Wales. Well, guys, they're the top stories for the week. Now, please don't forget to like, comment, and share this video, and follow and subscribe wherever you are seeing this. Have a great week, guys, and remember there is only one thing in life that makes a difference, and that's action. Thanks a lot, and bye for now.